My first summer in the Sierra by John Muir, August twenty second. Clouds none, cool west wind, slight hoar frost on the meadows. Carlo is missing. Have been seeking him all day, in the thick woods between camp and the river, among tall grass and fallen pines. I discovered a baby fawn. At first, it seemed inclined to come to me, but when I tried to catch it, and got within a rod or two. It turned and walked softly away, choosing its steps like a cautious, stealthy hunting cat. Then, as if suddenly caught or alarmed, it began to buck and run like a grown deer, jumping high above the fallen trunks, and was soon out of sight. Possibly, its mother may have caught it, but I did not hear her. I don't think. Fawns ever leave the home thicket or follow their mothers until they are caught or frightened. I'm distressed about Carlo. There are several other camps and dogs not many miles from here, and I still hope to find him. He never left me before. Panthers are very rare here, and I don't think any of these cats would dare touch him. He knows bears too well to be caught by them. And as for Indians, they don't want him. August twenty-third, cool, bright day, hinting Indian summer. Mister Delaney has gone to the Smith Ranch on the Tulamine below Hetchy Hetchy Valley, thirty-five or forty miles from here. So I'll be alone for a week or more. Not really alone, for Carlo has come back. He was at a camp a few miles to the northwestward. He looked sheepish and ashamed when I asked him where he had been and why he had gone away without leave. He is now trying to get me to caress him and show signs of forgiveness. A wondrous wise dog. A great load is off my mind. I could not have left the mountains without him. He seems very glad to get back to me. Rose and crimson sunset, and soon after the stars appeared, the moon rose in most impressive majesty over the top of Mount Dana. I sauntered up the meadow in the white light. The jet black tree shadows were so wonderfully distinct and substantial looking. I often step high in crossing them, taking them. For black charred logs.